Hi, today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to find KSD 140 forms online while using your laptop. And then we're going to go ahead and save it to our Google Drive so that we have it to access at a later date. So I'm going to first start by going to ksd140.org and I'm going to scroll down all the way at the bottom of the page. And I'm looking for those two columns off on the right. The very first column all the way down at the bottom, it says staff resources. I'm going to go ahead and tap on staff resources. This is going to bring me to my campus suite district page. And I'm going to go ahead and log in with my district information. And once I log in, it's going to bring me to staff resources. Now, if at first you don't see this page that says staff resources, you may see a page that looks similar to this. It'll say websites, district, and then it'll say intranets, staff resources. If you don't see the staff resources at first, take a look to make sure that your drop down menu has been activated. If it has, then you just simply tap on staff resources. Once you are on staff resources, this was the first page that I was pushed to. I'm looking off in the right column where it says staff resources, contract and payroll information, calendar. I'm looking for where it says KSD 140 forms. Because although there's a lot to see there, we want to make sure we're just focusing on the forms right now. This page will then give me the directions that I need to put this into my drive. So where it says please click KSD forms, I'm just going to tap on KSD forms and it's going to direct me right to my Google Drive. Now the reason it's directing me to my Google Drive is because I am currently signed into the G Suite account with my school email. So if you're not sure if you are, just hover over where it says G Suite and it will show you what your account is that you are logged into right now. Now this is a shared folder and Right now I don't have the function to search for certain things because it's not saved into my Google Drive. So I want to make sure I save it into my drive. In order to do that, next to the words staff resources, I'm going to simply tap that little arrow that's pointing down. And I'm going to click on where it says add to my drive. I'm going to click that. Once I click that, it'll show me that it has been added to my drive. And I can either undo it, which I don't want to do because I just did it, or I can organize my drive. Once you get a lot of things in your drive, it kind of gets a little full, so you might want to color code it or organize it however fits your needs. One thing I am going to suggest is that you go right back up to that drop down menu next to staff resources and we're going to add to starred. And the reason that we're adding it to the starred tab is simply for easy access. So if I now just go ahead and tap on the starred tab off on the left, I'll see that I have that one item of all the KSD forms in there. Now if I wanted to actually get to one of the forms, I'm going to double click on the folder. And let's say I want to fill out a timesheet. I'm going to double click on that timesheet folder. And now I have these different timesheets that I have access to. I want to make sure I'm filling out the timesheet for, let's say, tutoring. I'm going to double click on that timesheet. I can download it and fill it out from there. If you download it and fill it out, make sure you add it right back to your drive so that you have a copy of it.